channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Crow Gal. And it's Tuesday. I'm a day I'm a day late, but I'm here. We're here. We're here a day late with the grocery haul. Uh I, we had kind of a very, very, very busy weekend. We've been doing a lot of decluttering around here, a lot of organizing, a lot of moving around, moving stuff around. Um, so that took up part of our weekend. And then on Sunday, I mean on Saturday, my cousin got married. So um, we went to her wedding and it was beautiful and it was great. We didn't have Daisy, so it was kind of like parents night out. Uh, and I'll go like more in depth about this in my what I eat in a day that's gonna go up tomorrow. But um, I, I partook in some adult beverages and was pretty much out of commission um, all day Sunday. Hence, no grocery list and definitely no grocery shopping. For me, there's when I'm hungover, like <laughs> there's no in-between. There's no like, oh, I feel a little off or I feel, you know, ooh, like my head kind of hurt. No, it's like out of commission all day long till about 4 p.m. I was literally in bed until four o'clock. Um, and I also danced for three and a half hours. So not only was I like nauseous and my head was killing me, my entire body like didn't know what to do because I was jumping and dancing and doing a lot of this for like three hours. Um, so that's just the totally honest reason as to why there was no haul yesterday. We're all friends around here, right? I can be honest. That's, um, that's kind of my shtick around here is being honest with y'all and I was severely hungover um, on Sunday. So um, let's go ahead and just jump in to this week and this haul. So it's obviously Thanksgiving week. Um, I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate, I hope you just have a great week in general. But that being said, Thursday, Friday, I ain't cooking nothing. I am making a side for Thanksgiving, um, but obviously in terms of dinners, Thanksgiving, I'll be eating that food and then Friday, uh, my mom usually sends us home with leftovers, so that's gonna be my plan is to just eat those. So I decided to do Walmart grocery pickup because I'm I'm shopping on Monday, which means I'll have Daisy with me, and I took her last week and it just did not go well. So I <laughs> made the sound decision to do grocery pickup so I just wouldn't have to deal with any toddler drama inside of Walmart. And I was pleasantly surprised. I was very nervous because it is the week of Thanksgiving. I thought a ton of my stuff would be substituted. I did have five substitutions and everything, all the substitutions were completely appropriate and I approved all of them. So I'll chat about that, uh, you know, when we get there. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. I will show you my list. I will show you everything I got and of course tell you how much I spent. All right, so here is my list for the week. Here are the meals I'm doing, meatball casserole, fathead pizza and salad, drumsticks and cauliflower, Thanksgiving and then leftovers. I didn't end up getting a salad. They didn't have any carb friendly bagged salads at Walmart. So I think I'm gonna be doing Brussels sprouts um, with the pizza instead. We have produce, dairy, drinks, uh, frozen aisle meat. And then for lunches, um, we're still burning through some Flex Pro meals that I have in the freezer and then I'm just going to be doing like low carb quesadillas or crisp bread with turkey for the week. I have written on here a non-dairy because I just kind of wanted to peruse the site to see what non-dairy things I could find for Daisy. Didn't end up picking up anything um, like out of the ordinary but they had a lot of non-dairy options on Walmart site. Everything from like non-dairy you know frozen pizzas to cheese to yogurt um, so I was very impressed with that selection. All right, yo, we're gonna start with produce and I'm not doing prices today. It's just too tricky. The receipt's on my phone and I have to keep scrolling to look at, like to try to find all the prices. It's just gonna be too difficult. So we're gonna skip prices today. Produce, um, a ton of Brussels sprouts. This is the dish I'm making for Thanksgiving. So I got four bags of those. Bananas, pears, and apples for Daisy. Uh, on to the dairy. We got some Califia Farms unsweetened almond milk for Daisy. Half and half. This was one of my substitutions. <laughs> you can see this is the huge, um, the huge one. It's so big. But they didn't have the smaller one apparently. So I got subbed with the big one, which is fine. A dozen eggs. I picked up three of the spicy cheese panino fingers and a thing of great value sour cream. Really didn't need like any meat this week. So I just picked up some bacon. Peas and carrots from um, the freezer for Daisy, and then some sour cream and chive mashed cauliflower. Oh, guys, this stuff is like what dreams are made of. That stuff, it's, it's so delicious. 
Drink wise, I picked up this um, 12 pack of the Bon and Viv Spark Seltzer. This is like the variety one. Y'all know I tried the grapefruit one and I loved it. So this one has grapefruit, clementine hibiscus, pear, elderflower, and cranberry. I'm very intrigued to try those flavors, especially because they're not like usual flavors you would hear of. Um, very excited to try that. Another substitution, for whatever reason, as I was like looking at the website, um, put placing my order, I just really wanted Gatorade. Um, could have been because I was, you know, nursing that, that hangover. Um, I didn't want orange, I wanted the light blue and the white, but they didn't have that, so they substituted it with the orange. And then I also picked up some Premier Protein. I placed an order for cookies and cream, which apparently they didn't have, so they subbed with chocolate, which was fine by me. Um, to the aisle stuff. I kind of separated this into Daisy stuff and then like Cernan and I stuff. Some more carb balance tortillas. I got some of the Atkins peanut uh, butter protein wafer crisps. Y'all, these are kind of my new jam. They're delicious. They have no maltitol, no maltodextrin, um, and they're super tasty. Some balsamic vinegar, sliced olives for our fathead pizza. I needed like legit maple syrup, so this is the one I picked up. That was a pretty penny, but it was what I needed. This was another substitution. I wanted the Prego Farmer's Market one. That's usually the marinara that I choose anytime I have to use uh, a marinara sauce, whether it's for pizza or a casserole or whatever. They substituted it with this and I accepted it because I only need this for the fathead pizza. So I'm not gonna be like dumping this entire thing into a casserole or soup or you know, whatever. I'm really gonna be using probably like a quarter of a cup on the entire pizza. Um, carb wise, it's, it's six, it's six net carbs. I think that Prego one is five, so not the end of the world, totally fine. And then I got this, um, this was on rollback y'all and it was like, a dollar 12 off it wasn't just like you know 20 cents or something I'm not the biggest fan of max pork rinds but Cernan is and I love that these are just like individually bagged ready to go you don't have to worry about them going stale that happens to me frequently with pork rinds even if I seal the big bag up I just feel like they go bad so quickly so I picked that up um, and then some stuff for Daisy I got this big bag of um, rice cakes then I kind of forgot that, I mean, I just, I'm still trying to like wrap my brain around the whole non-dairy thing. So um, I think the buttermilk ranch she can still, could still eat because the dairy part of it is so far down on the ingredients list, but she probably won't be able to eat the cheddar ones. But I know she has been into these caramel ones. I had like a bigger bag. And so I bought this one, the multi-bag, um, 14 bags in there. Then I got these Annie's Cocoa Bunnies. I thought these would make just a good snack, but also kind of uh, liven up her breakfast a little bit, which is why I also bought the almond milk. Um, some bow ties that I'm gonna make for her. She's really into tomato sauce right now, like marinara, tomato sauce any of that jazz, so um, I thought I would try doing it with some pasta. I used to put that on her ravioli, but she can't have that if there's cheese in it, so um, picked up that to substitute it. Some pretzel goldfish and some applesauce. All right, so for everything, I spent 103 for the week, which I'm happy with. I did get a handful of like pricier things, the spiked seltzer, uh, the almond milk is not something I'd normally buy, the Atkins bars, so uh, I'm the pro premier protein. I feel like I just got a lot of like higher priced items this week. Um, based on the fact that like I really didn't need anything for the three dinners that I'm cooking, I definitely think if I would have left those things out, this this uh, trip would have been a lot more, a lot cheaper, but I'm good with that, I'm fine with that. Um, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed, Drop me a comment down below. What are your guys' plans for Thanksgiving? What are you eating this week? Let me know. And I will catch you guys tomorrow with uh, a What I Eat in a Day video. Bye, friends.